Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. This is my favourite axe, but I'd really like a way of attaching it to my belt, so I thought I'd make a leather belt loop for it. So, let's get started. I wanted the holder to be quite loose fitting so it wouldn't snag when pulling the axe out. So I wrapped a piece of leather around and marked where I wanted to cut. This time I remembered to put a fresh blade in the knife and it makes all the difference. I thought I'd go for a two-tone look and make the loop for the axe out of some brown leather and the loop for the belt out of some black. With the pieces cut I could prepare the edges of them. First slightly rounding them over using a number two edge beveller. And then moistening the edges and going to work with a hand burnisher. This leaves a nice shiny edge and stops any leather fraying. This is quite an easy leather working project in a way, as there's no stitching involved. When I first started working with leather, I definitely found stitching the hardest to master, and I'm certainly not saying I've mastered it. Anyway, this is all going to be held together with some copper rivets. I marked out where I wanted the rivets to go on the brown piece of leather, and then punched the holes out. I then used this as a template to mark out where the holes needed to go on the black piece. If I was planning to make more than one of these, it had been worth spending the time initially to make up some template. Marking out where everything went would have been much quicker. Before I put it all together, I'm just going to stamp my logo onto it. Good whack with a hammer. Then you can drop it, and it's all done. I had a few goes at this bit, trying to work out which order it had to all go together and which way around the rivets needed to go. But I sorted it out in the end. Always best to have a few test fits before you start hitting anything with a hammer. Advice for life that. Setting the rivets on the first side is pretty easy. Washer on, bang it down, snip off some of the excess, and then dome the head and that's secure. Now setting the two on the opposite side was a little more tricky as I couldn't lay the piece flat anymore, so I slid a mallet in to use as an anvil. This worked okay, but I should have put the face of the leather on something soft so it didn't mark. That's it all done. Now, when I've finished chopping my wood, I've got somewhere to secure my axe. It'd be best not to go out in public with it, or I'll look like a serial killer. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.